Hello, this is Steven from Online Unlocks, and in this tutorial we'll show you a method to fix your Galaxy S6 Edge Plus that uh, had a bad root or any other software problems. This can also be used for unrooting your phone or changing to a different firmware. Before starting the process, it's very important to find the exact firmware you are currently on because uh, you will not be able to flash older versions, only the same version or newer ones. For that, uh, I booted into recovery mode by holding home power and volume up. And on the top of recovery mode is written your current firmware. Of course, uh, this can be found on your phone settings if you can boot in normal mode. In case you can't boot neither in normal mode nor in recovery, just uh, use the last version available for your, uh, for your phone. I already have the firmware needed downloaded on my computer because it's a big file and uh, might take some time to download it. I'll provide in the written tutorial the place where you can download the firmware files, also the Odin, which is the program used for flashing, and the Samsung drivers that need to be installed before so the phone is detected by the computer. If the firmware is in an archive, must be extracted before, then once you extract it, open Odin and select for the AP, the firmware you just downloaded. The phone must be put in download mode by holding home power and volume up till you get to a warning screen, then press volume up to continue. And uh, you will get to a screen like that on my phone showing downloading. After adding the firmware in the AP field in Odin, sometimes the program will freeze. Wait a few minutes till the firmware is verified by Odin and the program will be back to normal. Once in uh, downloading mode, connect the phone to computer and if the Samsung drivers are installed, the phone will be detected and the COM port from Odin will turn to blue. After this, all you can do is press the start button and start praying. If you get an, uh, an error exactly at the beginning, probably the firmware is not the latest available or uh, there is a problem with the, with the firmware you just downloaded. So a solution should be to download a different firmware. Each time you retry, you should put the phone in download mode even uh, if it's currently in the same mode. So you just have to disconnect it, hold power home and volume down till you get the warning screen and then press again continue. Another reason why it might not work can be a problem with the USB port or the USB cable. So you can try more ports or more USB cables and even more computers. If everything uh, was done properly in about five to 10 minutes, the flashing should be ready and the phone should reboot by itself. Besides this fix with Odin, Another solution for fixing these kinds of problems is to use the programs delivered by Samsung, the smart switch or keys. With these two programs, you cannot control to what firmware your phone will restore or update, and this can be important in case you still want to root your device, for example. But if your phone is bricked and it's not working with Odin, I do not think you'll hesitate in trying those other two programs. After flashing with Odin, if the phone seems stuck on the Samsung logo, it's no need to panic, sometimes it's normal and easy to fix. All you have to do is boot in recovery mode, like you've done it before, by holding home power and volume up. If it's not entering in recovery mode from the first time, no need to give up. Even for me, sometimes it takes a few tries for some phones. Once in recovery mode, you will need to do a factory reset and delete catch also. By doing this, you should have the problem fixed. After you've done the factory reset, if the phone is not restarting by itself, just press the last option from recovery to the reboot the system. This time the phone should turn on normally and uh, you will be able to do the initial setup. Hope that this tutorial was useful to you for fixing your software problem or for uh, restoring to a fresh firmware. Please leave a comment below in case you have any problem in performing this restore. And if you need uh, to unlock your Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus or any other Samsung phone, you can get the lowest prices and the best customer support only from onlineunlocks.com. Thank you very much.